Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this gemstone in Blender. So let's get started. To create the gemstone we need to enable an add-on that comes with Blender by default. Go to Edit, References and under Add-ons type in Object and enable Add Mesh Extra Objects. Now if you hit Shift A you will have this Rock Generator option here. If you want to change anything about this rock you can go here and change the settings. I'm going to set the deformation to 30. You can also go to the modifiers and play around with them. I'm going to minimize them and add a remesh modifier. I'm doing this to get rid of these edges here. Now add a subdivision surface modifier and I'm going to set this to 3. Move it up, hit Shift A and add a cylinder and press S Shift Z. Scale it on the Z axis and press Ctrl A, apply scale. Add a bevel modifier, set the amount to 0.03. Press Ctrl 3 and set the render to 3. As you can see we've got these edges here that are barely visible, but if you want to remove them you can go into edit mode, press 3 and select the top face and the bottom face and press I. That should fix it. Go back into object mode. I just noticed that we can still see the faces here. That is because we need to select the rock and under remesh enable smooth shading. Hit shift A, add a plane and let's scale it up by 10. Move it down like this. Let's save now. Go to shading and make sure that the rock is selected. Make sure that you are using cycles and go into rendered view. In the world properties go to color and set it to environment texture. I'm going to put a link to the one that I'm using in the description. Go to object and set it to world. Select the image texture and press Ctrl T. Set the Y rotation to 240. Now set this back to object and click on new. Delete the principal bisdiv and add a mix shader and Ctrl Shift click on it. Add a glass bisdiv and let's also add a translucent bisdiv and plug that into the bottom socket. I'm going to make the glass a light blue and click and drag it in here. Set the roughness to 0.1 and add a bump node and let's connect the normal to the normal here. Set the strength to 0.1 and add a mix node. Set it to color. Plug the result into the height and add a noise texture and let's plug the factor into the factor here and into B. Set the scale to 1000 and the detail to 15. Add a muff node Set it to less than, plug the value into A and add a color ramp. Let's plug the color into the threshold. We also need to plug this factor into the value here. Take the color and plug it into this factor. Duplicate the mix node and plug it into this factor here. Add a wave texture and plug the color into A. Set the scale to 0.5 and the distortion to 20. Set it from bands to rings and set it to spherical. Add a mask wave texture and plug the height into the vector. Set the scale to 2.5. Duplicate the mask wave texture and plug the height into the factor and into B. For this one set the scale to 25 and the detail to 15. Go back to the color ramp and flip it and bring the black into somewhere around here. Take all of these nodes, bring them up here and add an add shader node. Let's plug that into the volume here. Add a volume scatter node. Put that here and plug the volume into the shader and take this color and plug it into the color. Set the density to 25. When I created the shader for the first time I had the problem that the volume was being displayed black for some reason. To fix that you can go to the color ramp and change the black slider. At least that fixed it in my case. Let's reconnect this. Duplicate the mix shader and plug it in here. Now duplicate the volume scatter node and plug it in here. Add a color ramp and plug the color into the color, flip it again and put the black somewhere around here. And let's duplicate it. Plug the color into the shader here and add a mix node. Let's set it to color again. Plug the color into the factor. For this color ramp I'm going to put the black here. Add a Voronoi texture. Plug the distance into the factor here and here. I'm going to set the scale to 10 and here let's make B orange and A black. One more thing that we need is an emission node. Put that here. Set the strength to 10,000. I think I'm actually going to set the scale to 2.5. Select the plane and click on new. Set the metallic to 1 and the roughness to 0.25. Add a bump node and set the strength to 0.001. Plug the normal into the normal. Add a noise texture 
and set the scale to 250 and plug the factor into the height. For the cylinder, I'm going to use a free wood texture. You can find the one that I'm using for the link in the description. Once you've downloaded it, click on new, select the principal PCF and press Ctrl Shift T. Paste in the location and hit enter. Press A and enter. I'm going to delete the normal map and connect the color to the normal and add a bump node. Put that here. Set the strength to 0 0.01 and check invert. Save again and go back to layout mode. Go into rendered view and I'm going to position my view around here. Hit Shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set twice. Move it down and press R and X twice to rotate it like this. I'm going to press G and set it twice again and put it here. Let's disable it again and set it back to increment. Select the camera, go to the object data properties and enable depth of field. Select the empty. I'm going to set the f sub to 1.5 and the blades to 16. You don't have to do this, but in the render properties, you can go to color management and set the fusions from to filmic and the look to very high contrast. I just think it looks better this way. Go to compositing, enable use nodes and enable denoising data. Add a denoise node set to accurate. In the render properties, I recommend that you set the max samples as high as possible. I'm going to set them to 3000. You can also go to render and enable log interface. This will speed up the render. In the output properties, I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Save again and press F12. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.